Drusilla's Halloween by Sally M. Walker. Read to you by Gammy. Once upon a Halloween, a million spells ago, witches prepared for a spotting chilling night. They scooped out pumpkins and carved out scary faces. They gulped potions that grew extra warts on their chins. While their cats practiced hissing, the witches honed their cackling skills with petrifying results. Last but not least, they moosed the hair on their cat's back so it stood up spikier than ever. In those days, witches would sneak silently on foot, spooking and spelling. So before they crept toward the town folks' homes, they practiced walking on their tippy toes. All of them, except for ancient Drusilla, the ricketyest witch of all. She slumped on the floor of her mountaintop house, moaning as loudly as the wind could carry it, her sound through the trees. Woe is me, what shall I do? She slapped her knees angrily and she stood up. Snap, crackle, creak, and pop. Drusilla covered her ears. Hush, you treacherous old knees. You're robbing me of that element of surprise. She limped to the door and glared down at the town. Her cat Drizzle wound himself around her legs. I must think fast. I won't let those noisy knees spoil my plans. An ear splitting hee haw pierced the air. Drusilla grabbed her jack o' lantern and a rope. With eyes like steel, she said, Come now, Drizzle, I have an idea. Drusilla shambled out to the field. Snap, crack, creak, and pop. Snap, crack, creak, and pop. Her uproarious knees sent squirrels scurrying into the trees. Rabbits dove into their holes. Fireflies turned off their lights. Drusilla's donkey rolled his eyes. Drusilla tied the rope around his neck. Carefully balancing the jack-o'-lantern, she pulled herself up onto the donkey's back. She cackled triumphantly. Come, Drizzle, we have work to do. Giddy up! The donkey did not budge. Drusilla kicked her heels. Nothing. She kicked some more. He still would not move. She squeezed her eyes shut, pinched her nose tightly, and forced herself to add, Still, no luck. Okay, pal, you asked for it. She closed her eyes and she chanted. Swiftly, silently gallop, I say. Carry me quick to town today. But the donkey was too stubborn to fall under Drusilla's spell. He brayed again and he sat down. Drizzle leaped up as the jack-o'-lantern rolled. Drusilla slid to the ground in a groan. Drusilla struggled to her feet. Snap, crackle, creak, and pop. The noisy bent the blaze of her grass and echoed off the hills. These noisy knees. But Drusilla smiled when she saw her wheelbarrow. With an oof that came all the way from her toes, she heaved herself and her jack-o'-lantern in. Drizzle settled on her lap. Drusilla closed her eyes and she chanted, Swiftly, silently, wheelbarrow roll. Soon my spells will take their toll. The wheelbarrow rolled downhill, zigzagging wildly, wildly before Drusilla could stop her chant. Drusilla shook her fist at the town. Don't count me out. I have not begun to fright. Drusilla hobbled homeward. Snap, crackle, creak, and pop. When her chickens heard her coming, they shivered so hard, their feathers fell off. The wind swirled them up around Drusilla. 
She smiled another witchy smile. Quickly, Drusilla took off her cape and filled it with feathers. Drusilla, we have, I mean, Drizzle, we have work to do. Drusilla smeared her arms with paste. She patted feathers onto them until her arms were covered from shoulder to fingertip. Drusilla cackled and flapped her arms. She rose to the kitchen ceiling. Circling once, she kicked open the door and flew outside, trying out her new wings. Her cries of success turned to tears when a dark cloud burst with rain and it soaked her chickeny wings. A downpour of feathers fell to the ground as the rain washed away the pace. Drusilla landed just in time. Even if the wings had worked, there would have been no seat for you. But we can't give up now, she told Drizzle. Leftover feathers dotted the kitchen floor. Drusilla shook her head and picked up her broom. Just as she swept her first sweep, she thought an interesting thought. Drusilla closed her eyes and chanted, I am told, tell a bat, a fine flat place to seat my cat. Handle thin, handle long, perfect to hang my pumpkin on. Blood of worms, wing of bees, a quiet flight for noisy knees. Up and down, around the room, get up and fly, you beautiful blue broom. The broom rose into the air. It hovered and it waited in front of Drusilla. Drizzle, it's time. We were swept off our feet. Drusilla grabbed her emergency backup jack-o'-lantern and hung it from the handle. She perched herself behind it. Drizzle heaped on and growled a happy growl. Before you could say whoosh, they whisked out the door. The rest of history. Drusilla's silent ambush became a witchy legend that long ago Halloween night, Drusilla successfully scared each child only as much as he or she wanted to be scared, just as she had planned. And at the next Worldwide Witch Council, the witches took a vote. Tiptoe versus Broomsticks. Broomsticks won by a landslide. Well, we know all there, you know, we know that this is just a nice Halloween story. So children, please don't be scared. The end.